Hi, everybody. This is Dave Vellante, and we're here at Wikibon.org headquarters. This is theCUBE, SiliconAngle.tv's continuous coverage of all things tech, enterprise tech. We bring you the smartest people we can find, the smartest nodes out there. We extract the signal from the noise and package it and provide it to you, our audience. Thanks very much for watching. We're here today with Ed Walsh, who's the vice president within IBM's storage division. He runs the portfolio strategy. Ed, welcome back to theCUBE. Ah, great to be back. So Ed, we hear a lot about Smarter at IBM, yeah. Smarter Planet. You know, we saw the the integrated systems announcement sure. that Steve Mills made several weeks ago. What's Smarter Storage? We're hearing a lot about that these days. Right, so it's a natural extension from Smarter Planet to Smarter Computing. It's really our approach to designing and deploying storage infrastructure. So, what is it? Yeah, so basically it's a three core tenants that you can look to IBM in their storage that we're putting into all of our products but also where we're investing, what we're announcing, in fact, with Smarter Storage, and also where we're going with it. We're doing a lot of statement and direction showing you where we're going with the portfolio. But the three tenants are uh, Smarter Storage is efficient by design, Smarter Storage is self-optimizing, and Smarter Storage is clad agile. Okay, so uh, efficient by design. Um, sounds good. What, what does it mean? Yeah, pretty s straightforward and simple. But basically it's a, you know, smarter storage should help you deal with the cost and complexity and also just the capacity that you're seeing in your environment. Are there products associated with efficient by design or is it? So again, I could talk about the entire portfolio. So if you talk about from disk or tape, I can talk about the V7000, DS8000, XIV, specifically one product that would be high level, which is something that only IBM has would be our real time compression. What we've done is actually taken uh, compression technology and allow it to not have the downsides or the optimization issues with performance. So what you can do is a software key, turn on compression, get two to five times more storage out of your production fiber channel environment without any performance degradation. That's something that's 35 patents, a lot of engineering, yeah. and no one else in the industry has. So, okay, how about self-optimizing? Um, let's talk about that a little bit. We'll, we'll drill down, we'll, you know, give us again examples if you could. Again, I could go across the different uh, technologies, but in, the biggest trend right now is flash optimized infrastructure. So flash is everywhere in the storage infrastructure. It's at the server level, the network level, and at the storage level. And across our storage portfolio, they're all flash optimized from a disk perspective. Of course, we have tape products as well that would be optimized, but when we're talking about flash optimization, our entire disk portfolio. The key thing is how to coordinate the cache. So if you're caching on the server, the network, and the storage simultaneously, how do you coordinate that for efficiency? You don't want to double cache things, but more importantly for actually data availability. What you don't want to do is have a virtual machine fail from one server to another, and you're caching locally in the server, and literally you have either a stale read or a stale write, which is a corruption. So it's a coordination that we're doing. So what you saw us is actually show how we've extended easy tier, which is our tiering up to solid state disk on the storage layer, and extend it into both using either network or PCI cards, standard PCI cards in any server platform. Okay, now in Cloud Agile, is there infrastructure associated with Cloud Agile? Good one. So um, again, I could go through our portfolio and show you where we're working in cloud technologies and the robustness that we're talking about with Cloud Agile. But I would put in general, the best one would be PureFlex. You mentioned the expert integrated system mm -hmm. announcement we made in April. Um, the industry is looking for private cloud and basically what they're asking for is, hey, can you help me console my environment, have a single way to manage it, give me agility across my environment. What the industry responded with, which I'll call private cloud version 1.0, was how to consolidate your VMware and only VMware infrastructure. Mm -hmm. And typically when I'm in an environment, I said, well, how many people have VMware? And everyone raises their hand, almost everyone. And I said, but how many people only have VMware? And literally, it's crickets, almost nobody. So what IBM has done, which is smarter, but it's our pure flex system, is basically integrate that you can integrate your environment, which is, yes, VMware, but also other virtualization platforms like Hyper-V, um, Zen, um, and PowerVM, but also physical workloads like Linux or AIX, um, as well as Microsoft platforms. It also can do both x86, but also power platforms, and bring that together with systems, virtualization, applications, a network and storage all together. And smarter storage is part of that package built in. But what you're able to get is what you really have asked for. Help me get my private cloud. I'll call it private cloud 2.0. How do you bring it together under one roof, one management, and only IBM's delivering that right now. It's actually very difficult to do, 
But again, only IBM is, is able to deliver that. Well, it's hard because there's a lot of diversity. And my understanding right. is you guys have codified a lot of the knowledge that you've, yep. you've had in your field engagements. All right, Ed, well, good. Well, thanks for taking us through uh, smarter storage. You know, yep. kinda, Thank you. Kind of completes the picture yep. at IBM. It sure and, does. Uh, piece of the mosaic that fits in. Um, check the wiki, we've got a, a bunch of analysis on uh, these and, and other announcements, so, uh, so please do that. And, uh, and Ed, thanks for coming on theCUBE. Thank you. Okay, everybody, that's it for now. Keep watching for more information from siliconangle.tv and Wikibon, thank you.